In today's video, let's see the recent maritime accidents. In Canada's far north, the cargo ship Sivumet loses at least 20 containers, 20 containers, and an unknown amount of cargo, crashed into the water on October 27 at the Canadian port of Iqaluit in Frobisher Bay. When handling goods for Sivumet, a lighter barge's containers and freighter slid off. Operations to retrieve the containers and cargo were started by Nunavut Eastern Arctic Shipping and the Canadian Coast Guard. LCT Ellis Mari 4, a deck cargo ship, has grounded in the Philippines. The deck cargo ship LCT Ellis Mari 4, carrying building materials and 19 crew members, ran aground on Carabao Island in the Philippines. The spacecraft was discovered unharmed, with all 19 crew members safe. Bothnia FIN, a German freighter, has grounded in the Weezer, Bothnia FIN, a general cargo ship, ran aground on the coast of Harrier Sand Island due to steering failure. She continued her voyage after being refloated and towed back to break, and is currently ballasting from break to Hamburg. Barge lost by Tug Salambolets 3 in Southeast Barents Sea, Russian Arctic, in the Russian Arctic, a 350-ton fuel barge was lost by a tug named Salambolets 3, leading to a hazardous and runaway situation. Even though it has been seen and tracked, bad weather is making it difficult to recover the barge. Cargo Asian Spirit is disturbed in the Ligurian Sea. La Spezia offers refuge, a cargo ship named Asian Spirit requested refuge in La Spezia, Italy, because of bad weather. Up until November 3, the ship was cruising close to Marina di Carrara. Water seeped into the engine room due to a broken door, but they were given cover. A ground in the Martin Garcia Channel, Rio de la Plata, is the bulk ship Simona Pride. On November 3, the bulk carrier Simona Pride grounded in the Martin Garcia Canal in Uruguay while en route to the Villa Constitution port in Argentina. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoy the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment area. Subscribe to Marinora for more updates.